Good morning darlings and welcome to a new testing new makeup and beauty launches video, a new daily vlog um, which starts with me sharing my first impressions. So I've got a lot of um, new pieces that I'm very excited to try out as I have done in previous versions of this video. I just like to start my Saturday morning by collecting my blog mail and looking through the pieces I'm really excited to try and just sharing the first impressions with you so that you know whether you might like to try them, um, perhaps discovering some new launches that you haven't heard of yet. So a few of the highlights, if you will, of today's video, I'm going to be trying out um, the new NARS Climax Mascara, very excited to give that a go. Also the new, I've forgotten to get it out of my beauty drawers, Benefits Brow Contour um, Clicky Pen. I've also got a new, very luxurious Double R Serum from Galan from their Autumn Skincare Launches. We've got new plumping lip glosses from Buxom. I've got also a two-tone blush and highlight from Galan. Some new things from L'Oreal, some new things from The Body Shop. So it's going to be a good one. So already this morning, obviously I've just got out of the shower. The hair is nice and clean. And actually I did use a new um, silver shampoo and conditioner set from Redken. So that will help to tone my hair. I'm already a huge fan of their blondage range. And I think the silver range is very, very similar. And also, okay, so before my shower... When I woke up, I cleansed my skin as I do every morning with a micellar water. Today, I decided to try out the new Bare Minerals Mineral Cleansing Water. I kind of knew before I tried this that I was going to love it, and I was not wrong. I'm a huge fan of micellar waters. I always use them as my first cleanse when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do to my skin. Bare Minerals is a brand that I adore. They're a very clean beauty brand. They use the nicest ingredients, nothing nasty. They don't use parabens. They don't use just anything nasty and terribly chemically they steer well clear of. A lot of their products are vegan, they are all just very very good clean products and I love that. So this is their um, mineral cleansing water with cucumber and rose. The cucumber and rose gave it a very nice but not too overpowering scent and it was just very soothing, very lovely to apply. Obviously I haven't tested it with makeup removal yet but it worked wonders on cleansing my skin after a night of skincare. Then onto my cleansed skin I used a new face mask. This is the Mediterranean Almond Milk with Oats Instant Soothing Mask from The Body Shop. Now this is new I think this month, maybe even this week, and it contains lots of ingredients that are organic and from their community trade. It's got community trade shea butter from Ghana, um, community trade aloe vera I think it is from Mexico, and then it's also got community trade almond milk from Spain. So if you have been around here for a little while you might remember that Charlie and I actually went to India with the body shop last last March, two Marches ago, and we visited their community trade Teddy Exports, which is where they make all the wooden things, um, a lot of the tote bags, things like that, and it really opened our eyes to how amazing the community trade aspect of the body shop is. Not only are they kind of just just giving money to charity in that they're providing jobs, but they're providing education, they're really doing so much more to help the local communities. Definitely watch that video, I'll leave it linked down below and it will change the way you think of the body shop forever and make you love them so much more. Um, so I think it's amazing that three ingredients in this are from community trade um, partners in those countries. And I'm pleased to report it's a really lovely mask as well. So my skin having, I'm not gonna lie, eaten absolute crap the past couple of days has been a little bit tight, a little bit uh, aggro. And the ingredients in this instantly, my skin just relaxed a little bit, felt very soothed, slightly exfoliated I would say because it does have, um, it's kind of like porridge in consistency so it's very very gently exfoliating, smelt really nice, I left this on for a good half an hour actually while I undid a little bit more blogger mail and my skin felt great afterwards, it just feels like it's been pampered, very gentle so first impressions of this, very very good. Also from their almond milk range, I think they're really pushing their almond range at the moment, I then applied the almond milk body yogurt for sensitive skin after my shower. It looks like this, so my whole body just, oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell this. My whole body smells amazing and feels very pampered but not sticky. I find luxury body lotions are amazing, but sometimes you just feel a little bit sticky and you know, meh, for a little bit longer after your shower, whereas this sunk in really, really quickly. So two very good first impressions from the body shop. So now I'm going to actually start applying some things. Um, don't have anything on my face at the moment, so I'm going to try out the new 
Golan, I think this is called the Double R Serum. It's part of their Abbe Royale range, which is their B kind of honey range. It looks like this really, really beautiful packaging. And on the note of Golan, in case you actually won't have seen this vlog yet, they're doing this thing in John Lewis where if you take in an old bronzer, it can be any bronzer, it can be Rimmel, Nars, Becca, Galan and recycle it in store then you get £10 off your next Galan bronzer so that's a really good um, little thing that they're doing and they're also doing and I think they've always done this if you buy two or more pieces of skincare or one kind of very premium piece of skincare you get an hour long facial in the store which is amazing because I don't know like a Galan facial would probably normally be over £100 I'm guessing so it's such a luxurious brand but if you're gonna top up on your skincare then you might as well do it there so let's give this a go okay so instantly upon pumping I can see that it has dispersed um, the gel and the cream and these two uh, formulas are kept separate because there's a few different acids in here so obviously this range is designed to help your skin stay lovely and radiant um it's very very gently peeling let me just check i think it's um lactic citric and glycolic acid so it's very gentle but over time it just helps the skin to renew itself keep your skin looking really lovely and glowing and it feels really gentle as well thanks to the honey ingredients in there as well galan actually source the royal jelly from for their Abbey royal range on a little island off the coast of Brittany, and it's got practically zero pollution there so it's really really pure which is great for the skin and it's great that they're supporting the cultivation of bees as well because we need bees in order for the world to continue working correctly so very good what they're doing over there and that feels really really lovely on the skin it's not tingly at all like sometimes AHAs can be on the skin so next I'm going to pop on my moisturizer I don't think I have a new one to try so I'm going to go back in with my bare minerals complexion rescue defense this does act as a moisturizer it doesn't tint the skin at least not the one that you get here in the UK um, as you can see it goes on quite white I've mentioned this in a couple of videos before it does make for a really nice base, it's very moisturising, um, protects the skin against sun's rays, pollution and also blue light technology as well which is what everybody is obsessed with protecting themselves against right now. If you spend a lot of time on your phone then it's good to protect the skin against the damaging effects of blue light. You can see it's left my skin a little bit white, that's my only um, downside if you will of this product but obviously you're not gonna just go out like this I mean you probably could do but I like to put on a little bit of coverage again I don't have a new foundation or BB cream so what I'm gonna do is remind myself of an old favorite I've actually not used the Bare Minerals original foundation in quite a long time it's the one which is actually a powder um, someone commented as to why I always put my hand behind the products that's because my camera will focus on it if my face is not in the shot so basically I'm just trying to get rid of my face okay so this is the Bare Minerals original foundation I know so many people swear by this and for good reason it's absolutely amazing it gives fabulous coverage works for so many different skin types and um, what not many people know and that I didn't know until recently is that it's only got five ingredients in there so again a very clean product very good for the skin what I'm going to do is put a couple of taps into the lid, just like that, not a huge amount of product. And then I'm taking this brush which is specifically designed for the original skin and swirling it around in there until there's no product left in the lid. it gets to the point where you don't think there's anything left on your brush but if you keep buffing it's actually surprising how much you'll get out of there so this is um camera lighting has gone a bit crazy this is one layer if you will of the powder it works for oily skin it works for dry skin because it's mineral based um I'm wondering now why I ever stopped using this. I guess I just wanted to try other things, but I absolutely love it because I'm filming and I have got some spots down there I'm gonna do another layer so just tapping a little bit more what you can also do is take a more precise brush like um, this one is the shade and diffuser eye brush from Bare Minerals and you can be a little bit more precise like if you just want to apply a bit more on your chin or on the spots then you can do that but I'm gonna just go in all over again 
because obviously this is mineral based it's also really good during a heat wave if you're going on holiday because it's not bad for your skin to have these ingredients on it and if you are suffering with um, blemishes they I'm not sure if it's out yet actually but they are bringing out a remedy uh, blemish remedy specific version and what's great about it is it's just so adaptive it just kind of builds up as much or as little as you want and what I love most about it aside from the fact it's great for my skin um, never looks cakey and it just looks like skin which is what your makeup should look like okay so I'm really happy with that base um, you can still see a little bit of redness here from my blemishes it's actually covered it up so well I should have showed you them a bit more clearly before um, but considering this whole part of my face was quite red earlier that has provided a really nice coverage my shine from my naturally oily skin is softened um it still looks healthy and radiant despite the fact that it's a powder so amazing absolutely love it so i am going to add a bit more color with my bronzer and as i was talking about the recycling for galan i'm going to use my favorite galan bronzer this is the terracotta jolie tint oh no poudre éclat bromine in the shade light warm and this is probably one of my most natural bronzers I'm applying with the Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping and Finish brush. As you guys know, I'm not a makeup artist, I just do kind of everyday makeup. Um, and some people might think, why are you doing your makeup on YouTube if you're not a makeup artist or a pro? And I always think like 99% of the population aren't makeup artists and you just want to know how a normal person does their makeup and what products they're using. So hopefully you agree. <laughs> Okay, I'm very happy with that. So that's just warmed up my complexion and now I'm going to use a blusher. I'm going to try the T T T Galan Two Tone. Oh, whoa. That was like a little slippery snake. Two Tone blush and highlight in this beautiful compact and inside it looks like this so you've got a blush and a highlight you can use one stroke to pick up both or you can be a little bit more precise like I'm going to be. I'm going to put a little bit of this beautiful pink blush colour on the apples of my cheeks. Mmm, that's so nice. Oh, that is such a beautiful colour. Just like a natural blush of pink. And then I'm taking my Sigma cheekbone brush for the highlight. Again, that's really delicate. Very feminine, subtle, exactly what I love. Very happy with that blush and highlight combo and such a tiny little palette as well. So great for traveling, great for popping in the makeup bag, a very subtle highlight and beautiful blush color. So that gets top marks from me. Okay, let's look at the brows. We're gonna use the Brow Contour Pro. It is this clicky pencil, brand new from Benefit. It's got a highlighting lumiere, a definition section, a darker brown and a lighter brown. This is darker brown and lighter brown for light brown brows. I presume they are bringing out different shades of this. They've probably just sent me the one that I will get along best with. So let's start with the definer. We click it up like the old school biros that I used to use for revision. And I'm just gonna draw underneath my brow arch. I'm no pro when it comes to brows, but this will hopefully give them a better shape. And then I'm just gonna smudge it in with my finger. Okay, so that's quite subtle, but it has helped to define the brow shape. Next, I'm gonna go in actually with the deeper shade, because I think the lighter shade is possibly a little bit light for me. And as I usually do, just going to fill in any gaps and add a little bit more definition to my brows. Okay, so this is the finished brow look. I could spend a lot longer on my brows, but I just never do. Um, pros and cons, I would say that pros are that it's really easy to use. The color is really nice. It's very pigmented color. Sometimes with this type of applicator, I find that I have to really kind of press quite hard and go several times to get color. This wasn't like that. It was really quick and easy color. Cons are if you want it to be a really fine hair-like stroke, it's not the finest of um, pencils. So if you see the nib here, it's not as fine as, for example, the other Benefit brow pencil, which is called the Precise in My Brow Pencil. It's not as fine as that or the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Sometimes I like it to be fine, but that's only if I'm you know, doing close-up pictures or something. Normally, this is absolutely perfect. So yes, again, that does get the seal of approval from me. 
I'm going to now prime my eyelids. Not a step I usually do, but I was recently introduced to the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Eyelid Primer. This is a really soft pink shade, so if you don't want to wear anything on your eyelids, but you want to counteract any um, pinkness or discoloration, then this is a great thing to use. I just popped a tiny bit on the back of my hand and then I'm using my finger to apply to the eyelids. So instantly you can see that that's just given my eyelids a really even colour, um, a great base for applying eye makeup. And I have got a couple of new eyeshadows. Firstly, again from Bare Minerals, I've got their new Gen Nude eyeshadow palette in the shade Copper. These are fabulous if you like to have a few different selections of eyeshadow shades and know that the shades are really complimentary. This is what the Copper palette looks like. It's got lots of beautiful, very wearable brownie shades. I think that Truth and Aura, actually basically the top four will be my everyday shades and then these two I can add in if I want to be a little bit more intense. But then I also wanted to try the Camilla Cabello Havana collection for L'Oreal. So these are two of the eyeshadows that I particularly like the look of from that collection. They're not too dissimilar to the ones in the Bare Minerals palette. Um, and I thought that the L'Oreal ones looked like very good dupes of the new Hourglass eyeshadows, which are wonderful. I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love them. This one in particular is Scattered Light Smoke, and it looks like this. Don't know if that's focusing, but it is a really beautiful bronzy colour but they're £26 each and I personally just wouldn't spend that on an eyeshadow so these L'Oreal ones are much more affordable and then obviously you get six in the Bare Minerals palette. I'm going to start with the Gypsy shade which is this one here all over the lid as a bit of a base. It's almost like a creamy yellow colour so great for um, brightening the eye and I'm going to bring that all the way up to my brow bone. Easy peasy and then I'm going to take Truth which is this one here. I like wearing matte shades in the day. I'll wear the shimmery ones in um, the evenings. Again, that's a really flattering shade. It's a little bit more purple than I'd normally go for on a daily basis, but we're trying something a bit new. And for the sake of the video, although I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis, I'm gonna try Oh Na Na, that's what this one is called. Oh Na Na, from the Havana Camilla Cabello collection. Switching to a slightly smaller brush, this is the Lux Eye Blender from Zoeva. Let's see, this is actually a real nail varnish destroyer to get into. But luckily I also have a new nail varnish to try, this is from Nails Inc. It is called Thirsty Nails and it is one of the nail varnishes that actually hydrates and repairs the nails. I'm currently having a break from my gels, so I'm going to be redoing my nails with that a little bit later today. Okay, so this is a really beautiful light bronzy colour. Looks like a pressed powder, that actually looks stunning. It's quite similar actually to the shade I had on as the base, so I can't really tell how pigmented it is. Ooh, but when I apply it on the back of my hand, it's clear that it is pretty pigmented. So let's just apply a little bit more of this because it is a beautiful soft shimmer. Ooh, I like that. If you want to wear something a little bit more um, out there for your everyday, it's not too bold, but then I definitely think you could build this up to create a more dramatic look. I'm going to blend it in with the brush I was using earlier, just to soften any lines. And as you guys know, I don't love wearing eyeliner. God, I feel like this is literally a totally Bare Minerals <laughs> video, but um, I just love so many of their things, it's very very me. This is their new eyeliner called One Fine Line and I've got the brown version and it is the skinniest eyeliner I have ever seen in my life. It is absolutely minuscule, you can barely see the tip there. So I'm going to use this very very close to my lash line and it will hopefully be quite a natural look but a way to accentuate the lashes. I've applied it to this eye and not this eye, so you can see a very, very subtle, just slightly more defined lash line, which is what I really like. I don't want to have a big, bold black line, which makes the look all about the liner when it should be all about the eyes. So, yes, big fan of that. I probably won't wear it every day because I don't wear liner every day, but when I do want to have a little bit more definition, like when I'm filming videos or doing shoot days, this is amazing. So let's I hope it's long lasting. You could even bring this down to the lower lash line. Might do like a third of the way in. Okay, I've done the other eye and I really like that subtle definition. Big, big fan. Maybe this will convert me back to eyeliner. Who knows? Microliner. Okay, 
this is one that I've been excited to try. I always love trying out a hyped up product and NARS Climax is certainly that. I am going to just curl my lashes first though using my, I think these are Primark, um, lash colours. I've also just heard some barking outside which means Dexter and Dickens have just got home so I'm going to have to dash down. before putting on my mascara. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Puppies have been suitably snogged. So let's give this mascara a go. Packaging is very different. Stands out in the makeup drawer, that is for sure. And I have to say, I like the look of this brush because they are very stiff bristles, quite a big brush. Um, and this is typically the kind of brush that I really like. So let's give it a go. Wow, first impressions are very good. Um, not sure how much you can see, but that has really separated and lifted the lashes. They seem to have multiplied. I look like I have more lashes. Obviously, I've just done this um, top eyelid there. I don't tend to put too much on my bottom lashes. Let's try another coat. <laughs> it's really hard to show you mascara, but I am liking this a lot. That has made a big dramatic impact and I feel like that could build up to be really voluminous as well. So I'm going to even things out by popping some on the other lash. Wowzers, I am very, very pleased with that indeed. That has really separated, it's added volume, it's added lift, um, it's not gone clumpy. That is basically everything that I love in a mascara and that actually gets a solid... 9 out of 10 from me. It would be a 10 out of 10 if it had that um, oil, mineral oil in there that also helped your lashes to grow because I think that's amazing. I don't believe this has that in there. If it does then I'll leave a message on the screen because that would make it a 10 out of 10 but very impressed. Okie dokie, what do we have left to do? I'm just going to apply some lip gloss now. Buxom have released a huge huge colour collection, colour selection collection of lip glosses. These are their, I think they're called Plump and Volume, um, oh, Vava Plump, and I have chosen two of my favourite shades which are Lights Down, you can just see a little strip of the colour through the wording, not very clearly, and um, Honey Dew. So I think I'm going to go with Honey Dew today. These promise to plump up the lips, and as well as being a gloss, they also tint the lips so the lips remain coloured for a very long time. I think I will actually start by lining the lips because it is a gloss formula. And I'm going to use hazelnut tea from Laura Mercier to do so. So you've got a doe foot applicator, probably blurry right now. Um, let's see how it looks. Oh! That is so much more pigmented than I was expecting. I was really not expecting that much colour. Oh, and it's tingly. I don't know if it's menthol. Probably something more natural than menthol. Wait, menthol is natural. I don't know. Wow, I really was not expecting that consistency. I thought it was going to be more of like a shiny gloss um, that just delicately tinted the lips, but this is more like um, Kylie Lip Kit territory where it really gives a heavily pigmented colour, but it's not drying or stripping. This colour again is Honey Dew, and I really, really like it. Oh my goodness. It's almost a little bit orangey, could be a beautiful autumnal lip colour. It's not as natural looking as I thought it was going to be because it's so pigmented. Um, just to show you my other favourite colour, this is just as a result of swatching on my hands. This one is slightly deeper, it's that colour there, called Lights Down. But big fan of this and I think it really completes the look. So that's everything that I'm going to apply now, although I'm going to finish with a spritz of uh, the Lancome Fix It Forget It Anti-Pollution 24 Hour Makeup Setting Mist with Plant Extracts to Deflect and Protect Non-Sticky Oil-Free Paraben-Free Silicone-Free Fragrance-Free Makeup Spray. It's obviously not the full name, I just got a bit carried away. Okay, so we shall see how long this makeup lasts. I'm going to go downstairs now, have some breakfast, kiss the dogs, so that'll be a real test of the lip product. But I'm very happy with this makeup look so far. Hopefully it lasts. Um, and yes, this could become my new everyday makeup look. We shall see. So I'll catch you a little bit later for 
hair blow drying and makeup catch up. Um, just a very quick update, it is an hour later, I'm about to have breakfast, I've just been <laughs> doing some ironing, and my lip gloss is exactly how it was when I applied. I was expecting the shine to kind of go down a little bit, but it hasn't, which is amazing. And also, Lilla was saying that she liked my dressing gown, um, so I thought I'd show it to you in a bit more detail. It's got these gorgeous kind of lacy eyelash detail bits on it, and the same at the bottom, which is very, very nice. So, yeah, this is from Topshop, as is this little item, which is not something I normally show, but it's so cute, and it's like £30 from Topshop, so I'll leave them linked down below along with everything else. Um, but yeah, makeup's still looking good. It's only been an hour, but it's kind of settled in, looking great. So I'll catch up with you a bit later on, after breakfast, before I head out, and give you a final update. <laughs> Okay, finally out of my <laughs> dressing gown. It's midday and I've been having a very relaxed morning. I've not had to top up my makeup at all after breakfast. The lips are still glossy, still very highly pigmented, and I applied it a couple of hours ago. So now I've got my favourite dress on. I'm going to head out shopping. I'm going to go to Kings Road with Mama. So I will do one more catch up when we get back from our shopping trip. Let you know how it's lasted, but so far so good. So we're back again, it is now 6pm, this makeup he's been, he's been, has been on my face for about 8 hours, which I guess is like a normal length of time you'd have your makeup on, and to be honest, not much has changed, everything has lasted very very well, obviously the lipstick um, has now just left a kind of brownie pink tint on my lips, Usually throughout the day, like after lunch, you would reapply your lipstick, but I haven't touched it all day, so very, very happy with that. The only thing that looks a bit tired, other than me generally, is um, the makeup on my chin. I always have suffered with um, my makeup on my chin oxidising and going a little bit funny, and this is not even bad, but it's just not as perfect as it was before. So what I probably would do is just blend it buff it all out just with a slightly thicker makeup brush and to be honest that is all it really needs and then top up the lipstick for an easy way to top up the makeup so overall very very impressed definitely going to be going back to using um Bare Minerals Original Skin Foundation really loving the eyeliner um, and the eyeshadow I think I'll stick with using the eyeshadow primer as well because normally my eyeshadow creases by now so yeah very very impressed I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought about the whole coming back a few hours later aspect because I've I think in previous videos I've turned it into a daily vlog whereas today obviously it was just a nice nice day out with my mum um, let me know if you saw my Instagram stories. I did like some shopping with Lilla video clips, which was really good fun. So yeah, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has inspired you to pick up some new beauty pieces. Let me know if it has down below what you are excited to try. And everything that I've mentioned, worn, <laughs> it's been two things, um, will be linked down below. So that's all from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I remember when you put a spell on me It drove me flying crazy Couldn't see back then what's now in front of me The disc goes long on, baby You got me good, yeah, you got me